once again, just once again, just a kind of layout of what we want to do to here today. First of all, we are here to protest the occupation of Palestine. We're here to protest the slaughter in Gaza. We're here to protest the 18 months of siege that has taken place in Gaza. Before the bombs dropped, people were dying because they couldn't get food, medicine, medical attention, clean drinking water, etc. So that's why we're here. There are two people now. They can affect the situation immediately. The president of Egypt and Barack Obama, the president-elect. Because we don't care about President Bush. He's going to be gone in a few days or a few weeks. Why Barack Obama is silent? Why? He claims he's not the president now. Only one president. But when Ossetia was attacked by Russia, he went on the media and he declared against Russia aggression at that time. Why he cannot speak out? All the hopes, all the aspiration, they were placed on this president act because of the legacy of the civil rights movement, because of the hopes that he's going to be different, because his slogan was a change. What kind of change we have from you, President-elect Obama? Come up! Come up from the gym! And come up and say one word to stop the killing, to stop the war crime that we committed now by American weapons, by American supplied weapons. You need to stop now and say, stop the killing, at least Come out and be truthful to the legacy of the civil rights movement, of the human rights, and say one thing to stop the killing. The other person is President Mubarak. Despite all what he said on television, if you follow it in Arabic, there is a legal, there is a moral, there is a human element a reason for him to lift the siege and open Rafah. No! If he open Rafah now, then Israel will be defeated immediately because the siege will be lifted and the Arab people and the Egyptian people will support the Palestinians. He has in his hand, but he doesn't have the will because he's a subservient to the American administration. That's why he will not open Rafa. The only way we can lift the suffering now is for those two persons at least to do something. Well, if they don't do it, at the end, the will of the Palestinian people and the will of all free people throughout the world, like you are here, will continue to support the Palestinian people will continue to be on the street, everywhere, until we put the pressure, until they see that they are going to be defeated. Like they were defeated in Lebanon, they will be defeated in Palestine. No matter how long it will take. But we should continue our demonstration, continue our pressure, until the victory of the Palestinian people. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Victory to Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Victory to Palestine. Allahu Akbar. Stop the killing. Stop the war. Stop the killing. Stop the war. Stop the massacre. Stop the genocide. Stop the genocide.
Asians from all different religious groups, all different ethnic groups who are opposed to this war that's being waged against the people of Palestine, and particularly right now in Gaza. It looks as if they're preparing for a ground invasion. We're going to ask Zoyle to come. He's a member of the Green Party, and he's also an organizer and Jews against the occupation. Come on, give it up for Zoyle. Thank you, baby. My name is Zool, and I'm a member of Jews Against the, the Occupation. And of the Green Party of the United States. Yeah! And I'm here on this Friday evening, Shabbos evening, as an American Jew in front of the Israeli Embassy in Washington, D.C., to say that Israel is guilty of war crimes! Yeah! Sisters and brothers, anywhere that people are exploited and oppressed, those who would pursue peace seek justice. And so together we say, stop the massacre of the Palestinians! And as an American Jew, I also say, stop the United States Israeli genocide of Palestinians. So to many Jews, whether you're religious or secular or atheist like myself, I say good Shabbos. And to so many our brothers and sisters, I wish you a very happy new year with justice and joy, but I tell you today, as an American Jew, I am a Palestinian. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine!